What's going on everyone? Today I'll be doing a nuclear size comparison for the nuclear cell. To begin, I want to note that bowling ball opinions are like holes. Everyone has one. With that being said, these videos are almost entirely subjective opinions about what the bowling balls roll like and how they match up to other storm and rudder grip bowling balls. Just because you disagree with me does not mean that I suck, nor does it mean that I need lessons. It simply means that you just disagree with me and that's okay. We're all human. Be respectful in the comments. Here in the South, we like to say that if you don't have anything nice to say, you probably shouldn't say anything at all. Alright, now with the meat and potatoes of the video, the first portion I will be comparing the nuclear cell to the hypercell fused. The fused is earlier and is more forward overall which allows me to play further right on the lane. The video really highlights a key difference in that when I got the fuse to the right of my target it burned up and rolled out, where the nuclear bounced off the friction and hit the pocket. The nuclear is much cleaner and has lots of down lane motion. In terms of overall motion, this is exactly what I had expected. They are similar in strength, but the key difference is how soon you want the ball to read the pattern. If you're looking for a smoother motion, the fuse is probably the better option. Likewise, if you're looking for a cleaner and more angular option, the nuclear would be the best option for you. Secondly, I compare the nuclear cell to the astrophysics. These balls are drilled identical. The nuclear gives me a stronger overall motion, and core numbers back this up too. The Astro is weaker in every statistical category. As you can see, when thrown in the same spot, the Astro has trouble getting to flush. I thought it was burning up, so I moved my feet left to find more head oil, but when I did, I still couldn't get it to go flush like the nuclear does. When I leaked the Astro right, it didn't bounce off the friction as hard as the nuclear did either. The few shots that were up the lane went light swisher for the nuclear, and overall I think they were about two to three boards different with my feet, and the nuclear was stronger. Again, if you're looking for a ball that you can stand closer to the friction with, the Astro will be that ball. The Nuclear is much cleaner and responds pretty hard off the friction down lane. The Halo Pearl is one of my favorite bowling balls. Right off the bat, I noticed that the Halo Pearl is about three to four boards stronger than the Nuclear Cell. It picks up a few feet sooner as well. I found that I had to move my feet further left and help the halo pearl down the lane. Well with the nuclear cell, I didn't have those problems. It naturally floated through the front part of the lane. Nonetheless, they still have that good pop off the friction down lane. If you're looking for a stronger pearl shape, the halo pearl will be that ball. And if you're looking for a ball that's just under the halo pearl, the nuclear cell will be that ball. Again, they offer similar shape, just the strength is the difference. The nuclear shell compared to the auto pearl was the most interesting for me. Towards the end of the videoing, the balls were picking up way too early and they were starting to labor down lane. When that happens, the natural progression is to go from an asymmetrical ball, the nuclear shell, to a symmetrical ball, the auto pearl. I thought the idle pearl would roll well. To my surprise, the nuclear actually rolled better. For me, in this case, the auto pearl was too quick off the spot when I stood in the same spot as the nuclear and that forced me to move left with my feet. But when I did, it gave me severe over-under ball reaction. When I pulled the idle pearl, it didn't get to the swisher zone like the nuclear did. And when I got it right, it overbounced where the nuclear went flush. The nuclear's asymmetrical core allowed me to play further to the right and gave me, again, a much better motion. On a heavier volume pattern, I think the nuclear would be three to four boards stronger just because the core is bigger. The idle pearl is good for later in the blocks when there is a defined hook spot down the lane and the fronts have completely blown open. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe and as always, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next one.